Tom O'Falliard, the notorious outlaw who rode shotgun with Billy the Kid, has a reputation for being ruthless and unpredictable. But what drives a man to abandon all sense of morality and join forces with the most feared criminal of the Wild West? Is he driven by the allure of wealth, fame, or something far more sinister? In this video, we will delve into the dark past of Tom O'Falliard and uncover the secrets that made him the most dangerous man in the West. In the latter half of the 19th century, the American Wild West was a region of the United States that was characterized by lawlessness, a pioneering spirit, and notorious people who left their mark on history. The partnership between Billy the Kid and Tom O'Falliard, comrades and confidants, is etched in history as one of the Wild West's most infamous alliances. O'Falliard was the gang's trusted second in command, and despite being sometimes overshadowed by the popularity of Billy the Kid, he played a vital role in the organization. Both his association with Billy the Kid and his untimely death shed light on the harsh reality of the outlaw life in the Wild West, as well as the friendship that went along with it. In 1858, Tom O'Falliard entered the world in Fulton, Kentucky, where he was born to parents who had undertaken the arduous journey of immigration from Ireland in search of a better life. Their hopeful aspirations were, however, cut short by the devastating outbreak of smallpox, a highly contagious and deadly disease. Tragically, O'Falliard lost both his parents to this merciless ailment when he was a mere toddler of two, leaving him bereft of familial care and protection. As fate would have it, O'Falliard's life took an unexpected turn as he became an orphan at such a tender age. Yet, adversity only served to fortify his spirit and he embarked on a remarkable journey that would shape his character and destiny. Despite the heart-wrenching loss, O'Falliard's resilience shone through, and he found refuge and solace in the embrace of his extended family, who resided in the tranquil environs of Uvalde, Texas. Uvalde, with its picturesque landscapes and nurturing community, became the backdrop against which O'Falliard's formative years unfolded. Within its embrace, he not only overcame the trials of his early life, but also cultivated a strong sense of determination and self-reliance. The town's vibrant cultural tapestry and close-knit atmosphere played a pivotal role in shaping his values and beliefs, laying the foundation for his future endeavors. As O'Falliard grew, his innate curiosity and thirst for knowledge were nurtured by the town's accessible educational resources and passionate educators. These influences spurred him to explore various avenues of learning, eventually leading him to discover his talents and interests. Uvalde's libraries, community centers, and schools became his havens of intellectual growth, where he delved into subjects that captivated his imagination and ignited his ambition. The experiences and lessons gleaned from his time in Uvalde would serve as a wellspring of inspiration throughout Ophaliard's life, propelling him to overcome the challenges that lay ahead and make a lasting impact on the world. Indeed, his journey from a small orphan in Fulton, Kentucky, to a determined and accomplished individual in Uvalde, Texas, laid the groundwork for his extraordinary legacy, demonstrating the indomitable human spirit's ability to rise above adversity and shape one's destiny. It was in this town that O'Falliard's fate shifted when he partnered with Emil Fritz to engage in horse theft. This was the beginning of O'Falliard's descent into a life of crime. This alliance ultimately brought the two individuals to Lincoln County, New Mexico in 1877, which was right about the time when the volatile Lincoln County War began. The Lincoln County War was a brutal struggle that lasted for years and was sparked by conflicts between rival commercial factions in Lincoln County who were seeking title and economic control. When the fight broke out, O'Falliard and Fritz joined up with the group that was led by the rancher John Tunstall and his protege, the teenage William H. Bonney, who would later become known as Billy the Kid. O'Falliard suffered a critical bullet wound to his shoulder as a result of one of the many conflicts that took place between the opposing factions. He continued to be deeply dedicated to the cause despite the wounds that he sustained. In 1878, when the Lincoln County War finally came to an end, O'Falliard entered a new phase of his life. As a result of Tunstall's passing, the surviving members of his group decided to organize a new gang and put the infamous Billy the Kid in charge of it. After the war concluded, O'Falliard enlisted in Billy the Kid's gang, 
securing his role as Billy's right-hand man and earning him the moniker Blackjack because he rode loyally at Billy the Kid's side as the gang went on a life of robbing banks, stealing cattle, and escaping the law across the broad ranges of New Mexico. This earned O'Falliard the nickname Black Jack. Within Billy the Kid's group, O'Falliard was an important member who performed an essential role. The criminal was known for his skill with pistols and unnerving composure in confrontations, which contributed to his notoriety and gained him the description of being charming while being fearless. O'Falliard earned Billy the Kid's full confidence over time, and the former outlaw came to rely heavily on O'Falliard's quick intuition, valor, and steadfastness in the face of several threats. As the notorious gang traveled across the Wild West, staying one step ahead of the possessions that were on their trail, their relationship solidified into an unbreakable connection. The infamous lawman Pat Garrett was at the forefront of those who were pursuing them. In the year 1880, Garrett won the election for the position of sheriff in Lincoln County with the singular intention of tracking down and eliminating Billy the Kid. Garrett and another lawman named Lone Chambers were able to pull off a successful ambush on Billy the Kid and his gang on December 19th in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. During the subsequent gunfight, the devoted O'Falliard lost his life when he was shot in the chest while he was trying to draw his pistol. He was bleeding to death and pleaded for mercy, but Garrett ignored his pleas and let him bleed to death over the course of the next half an hour. The sudden and unexpected passing of O'Falliard at such a tender age sent shockwaves throughout the Wild West. It was a devastating blow both emotionally and strategically to the fearsome gang and Billy the Kid, who was the leader of their group. Billy the Kid had a passionate and unwavering devotion to his steadfast buddy, and the latter's death stoked a raging fire within him for vengeance against Garrett. In the months that followed, the remaining outlaws managed to elude the unrelenting pursuit of law enforcement while Billy the Kid planned his revenge for O'Falliard's death. Even in death, O'Falliard's memory ignited the remaining outlaws' resolve to uphold his legacy. The legendary showdown that took place in the spring of 1881 between Sheriff Garrett's soldiers and Billy the Kid's gang would prove to be the decisive event that put an end to the outlaw era. Billy the Kid, who was outnumbered and besieged, made the courageous decision to turn himself up so that he might save the lives of his remaining allies. This tactical sacrifice was reminiscent of the loyalty that he had learned from O'Falliard. The Wild West frontier started its transition into a more civilized landscape of towns and law with Billy the Kid's capture and subsequent execution. This happened around the beginning of the 1880s. Even though he is not as well known as some of his other countrymen, Tom Black Jack O'Falliard made an indelible mark on the history of the American Wild West. Because of his position as Billy the Kid's trusted second-in-command, O'Falliard was able to play an important part in one of the most infamous gangs of the century. His early death in the ambush at Fort Sumner in 1880 was a defining milestone that laid the stage for the final clash between Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. O'Falliard's biography as an exciting bandit and dedicated partner to Billy the Kid ensured that he would have a place in the annals of the American Wild West, despite the fact that he only roamed the frontier for a little more than two decades. Though not as widely recognized, Tom, Black Jack O'Falliard's impact on Wild West history is indelible. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.